let me discuss the software that we are going to write billing inventory and shopping with barcodes this is entirely written in asp.net core c sharp the latest version as of now is 11 and for dotnet core it is 7 this means that it will work for all versions that are more than 11 for c sharp and more than 7 for asp.net core this software integrates barcode scanning with android phone through javascript this barcode scanning this feature is available in chrome or edge running on android phone or i think iphone also i haven't tested so this means that this software will require a user to have his mobile phone in his hand and the integration is done entirely through javascript c sharp based barcode scanning has not been used this i want you to make you to be aware at the start barcode scanning is one of the features provided by browsers so we are going to make use of that feature and shop managers they can scan barcodes with and add inventory in this picture as you are seeing a shop owner is scanning an item and as soon as the item is scanned as soon as this is read the item is immediately added to the inventory i'll show you the video in a moment also stock and reports are available anytime this is inventory and the reports there are various types of reports that are available can be added also you can customize it in any way you like and sorting scanning everything is built into this software and the most important thing is that your customers they can scan barcodes with their own phone it is a self-service portal this means that it is an entirely new business idea also invoices will automatically be generated as soon as the customer adds an item and decides to pay the invoice is automatically generated i will show you the video also immediately after this inventory is subtracted automatically this means that inventory management is automatic and invoice history is also available to the customer anytime so let us now have a look at a video first i created this video to demonstrate the whole thing so first of all we have we have a sort of a shop we have a shop where we have all the items that are lying so these items are lying and uh, i am running this visual studio on my computer the project is running on my computer this is the solution explorer that you can see and since it was already running i'll stop debugging and then i will start it and once it starts you can see that a log window opens you will see this in the project we have to open this port on the phone i'll open with https but i'll describe it later that on phone it can't be opened so you will have to make some permissions okay let us add an item to the login first of all login with a user id of manager get otp we have set it one two three four so now the logged in you can see is appearing there and let's have a look at the inventory and reports the inventory is already there and uh, you can sort you can sort that way and let us now add an item by scanning it so scan barcode and an item is picked and as soon as the item is detected its barcode you can see it appears exactly same barcode it appears and the user can now set whatever quantity he wants he can add some description of an item and the price in cents dollars everything is possible and he adds and the inventory is updated and now we will see a customer logging in the customer has a shopping cart and customer has user has logged in with one two three four 
he scans an item to add it to his shopping cart and once the scanning is automatic and the item appears in his cart. He can make a payment click to pay and this invoice is also generated and the cart is emptied because invoice has been generated and his purchase history can be seen by him and printed whatever can be done. So this is a brief overview and now let me come to the Visual Studio part. So we have this project that we have created. The integration is through Bootstrap. Area based login that is role based login is to be implemented. Then models and various pages, shared pages, all the ASP.NET Core concepts, they have been clarified in this project and it has been done in a very simplified way. And I will now run it to show you on this computer. So now it should be easier. This 123456 is the administrator's phone. This means the person who is running the shop click get OTP. OTP is not sent during testing. We are just using 1234 but it can be easily integrated and login. Then he can scan a barcode and scanning will not be possible because mobile phone is supported. So I will just add a barcode 1234 and click enter and I can update the quantity. Let me add two units description I will add any anything because I'm not sure what are the prices in your country so the, this is the whole inventory that is shown for coke there are two units price is dollar ten per unit for this cake soft tea for this Ireland cheese last updated you can sort it so everything works the number of units the price per unit Filter by stocks less than 5 units. So we have Coke which is running short. Show all. Searching by barcode is also possible. And you can scan more items. Cancel and back. So everything is implemented. And now let us take note that our item 1 to 3 has 2 units. And when a customer logs in, he should be denied if he adds a lot of units. Or his, his input should be restricted to 2 units. So let us log off and now we will log in as a customer and get OTP again 1234 and login. The customer already has a shopping cart where he has already added this Ireland cheese and now I will add another item. I will add 123 enter. I have added one unit and if I add if I remember I had two units so I'll add three units here and click on update. Now he has decided to pick three units and one unit of Ireland cheese and this is the whole subtotal. Clicks to pay now. Some items could not be built because of insufficient stock. Ireland cheese was restricted to one units and coke was to two units. Ireland was added as one, coke was restricted to two units. This means that when we now again add coke, it should not be added. The invoice has been generated. Come to the cart. There is one unit that still is left in the cart because stock was not there. If you click to pay insufficient stock, so this will not go to the invoicing side. And we can examine the invoices of this customer, his past invoices. Click on detail. You can see all his customer copy, the invoice ID, fully paid with card and this is a complete bill that has been generated. So this is basically these functions I have not implemented print and export. You can always implement them. And this is the whole story that takes us through the billing and inventory with barcodes project. I will be explaining this project in steps in the coming tutorials. So I'll close it right now and we'll now meet in the class for the project.